Hello Vinyl Community, uh, we are listening in the background to an album of King Crimson. I will bring you into this new video through all the, the purchase I did in December. I was uh, back in France for vacation and I went to my preferred shop uh, close to where I used to live and I still have my family in east of France. I will put the details of the shop uh, in the comments if uh, one of you one day goes into this area. It's really a great shop and the owner Eric is a really nice guy. And uh, yeah, I always find great stuff there. It was Christmas and uh, I got uh, gift cards for, you know, <clears throat> all the people in my family. And, uh, you know, I just uh, spent these gift cards in uh, Eric's shop. So I will show you everything I found, including some really grails and a lot of great stuff. So first album is an album of Sabaton. I didn't have any album of Sabaton and then when I was in the shop I bought several things as you will see and Eric offered me uh, this album of Sabaton because uh, <clears throat> again I didn't know them and I heard many good things about Sabaton so I wanted to listen to one of the album and that's the album that I got so this album is in Swedish I think they do as well albums where they sing in English, right? I mean, yeah. It's really good, I really liked it. And uh, I will definitely look to get some more. Next album is an album of Stray. I already have two other albums. I must say it's a good album, but it's not the best album of Stray that I have. I prefer the first album. But if you don't know Stray, I recommend to check out on YouTube. And this album comes on the Transatlantic Rico, uh, label, which is really, really a nice label. I really like it. Next one, next one is uh, Edgar Broughton Band. I already had some records of Edgar Broughton Band. It's uh, yeah, I didn't really enjoy this album, uh, but generally speaking, I think you know it's worth to give a spin. Heavy Cruiser. I mean, uh, I didn't know this album or this band, and uh, yeah, it's a really good album. There is one song which is, uh, you know on this record, which is Come On Everybody, which uh, many, many other bands covered, and uh, they did a nice cover of this song. Nectar, which is a German band, uh, crowd rock band. I think, if I'm not wrong, that they, they were German or they were British, they went to Germany, there was a mix, I think there were some English guys playing in the band later, I'm not sure anymore. <clears throat> but probably most of you know Nectar. It's not my preferred album as well, but you know, it's a good add to my collection. These albums, Out of Focus, uh, that's a uh, uh, crowd rock album. It's a really, really, really good album. So if you don't know Out of Focus, I... This album, Out of Focus, uh, it's a German band, crowd rock band. It's a really, really good album. I was looking for it for some time already. It's a reedition, it's not an original one. The original one are going for a lot of money. It uh, comes on the Cuckoo label, uh, which is a really, really nice label as well. I will try to show you the record. Yeah, <clears throat> that's the Kukuk label, a famous uh, label for crowd rock, German crowd rock. <clears throat> Next album is an American band. 
Catfish. Really good album. Really liked it. That's a promotional copy. Amondul, a French press, which says rock allemand, which means German rock. Uh, so Amondul 2, Phallus uh, Day. Next one, Wallenstein as well, German crowd rock. There are several crowd rock uh, records uh, that I acquired in December. Good, but good album as well. Solid album, Wallenstein, good band. Midnight Sun, Walking Circles. Doc Soldier. I was looking for this album for some time already. There is a uh, Keith Hartley uh, playing in his band, the drummer. And uh, I have some uh, solo album from Keith Hartley and uh, I really like him. And this is a good album as well. Next one is Anthrax Fistful of Metal. I didn't have this album, it's the first album from Anthrax and it's a really really good album. I'm not a big fan, or you know, look, uh, Anthrax uh, changed a lot and they had a period where they were mixing trash or metal and the rap which is not my preferred period of Anthrax. They did again some good album later on in my view but this album Fistful of Metal is a real trash album and it's a really really good album in my taste. <clears throat> Black Widow. I didn't have any Black Widow so that's my first one. It's alive. The Frost. That's a reedition, but it's a really, really good album. I really liked it. It's alive as well. Live at the Grand Ballroom. Grobschnitt. I really like Grobschnitt. I mean, uh, I have several albums from them. It's a German crowd rock band as well. Really solid band and uh, this album is a really good one. It comes on Brain label and the Brain label is as well a famous label for crowd rock music. That's the second edition of Brain which comes on a brown label and uh, you will see the next record. Uh, that's the as well if uh, on Brain label as well and that's the Brain original uh, first edition label which is a green one. Here, you see it, right? So that was a nice find. Ground Dogs Split, that's a really, really good album. Blues album, blues rock album. Uh, I was looking for this one for some time. I was about to buy it online, but I never found it for a good price. And finally, I found it, you know, in the wild for you know a decent price so I went for it Pato so that's an original press uh, uh, UK press uh, really really good album I mean Pato probably you know if you don't know Pato again as many other bands but here as well I recommend to check it out it comes on Iceland label, which is as well a really nice label. And uh, this album is really, really good. So now we are getting to the Grail. I mean, Gong, uh, Flying Teapot, original uh, record on the BYC label. I got this one for a really, really good price. And uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, Really, really good album as well on the BYG label. I say BYC before, but it's BYG. Gentle Giant, that's uh, Top Grail as well, which you know Eric had uh, there, and uh, he gave me a really, really good price for these records. He 
he just acquired a collection uh, from someone he knew and uh, he didn't have them on the shelves and he told okay have a look uh, in the back of the, the, the shop have a look uh, on the records I have there in the crate and uh, you know before I put them on the shelves if you find something which you like I will give you a good price and he gave me a really really good price for the three records that you will see which are three top grails I mean Gentle Giant it's a UK press and it comes on the Vertigo Sphere and uh, I was really impressed when I saw this one because as you know the Vertigo Sphere the UK Vertigo Sphere are getting for are, are really really expensive so and I got it for a really good price next one is a Magma which is a French uh, yeah jazz rock uh, band and that's as well a first press coming on Philips and you see that it's the first press because here you have the register yeah, yeah I'm not sure how you say that in English but the register which is Louis Haig Sarkisian and uh, on the overpress there is not the name of the register so uh, that's the original first press which comes on Philips label it's a really really good album I like it and last one which I show as well in the vinyl tag 2019 agitation free Malesh so again a really really good album really difficult to find uh, it's a second press on the spaceship label vertigo I will not open it because I show it again in the vinyl tag but uh, you know, I was really happy to find this one and especially again on the price I got for it because it's really difficult to find them in the wild and usually online on Discord they go for a lot of money. So that was uh, all my purchase from December in uh, this shop in France which is called Les Echo du Rock and I will put uh, you know all the details in the description. Thank you guys and uh, speak to you soon.